So you have you know a lot of Chinese entrepreneurs. What do you see the difference of Chinese entrepreneurs and Americans? I think entrepreneurs are this pretty much the same everywhere. They're、mm -hmm. these unique characters who are willing to take big risks,、mm -hmm. try something that where a lot of people think they're a little crazy,、yeah. and they're willing to try it.、Mm -hmm. And if it fails, then they start over again. If it succeeds, then they have to be very resilient. That's、mm -hmm. one of the things that we do at Draper yes. University yes. is to make sure they're resilient. Yes. How could you identify this is、uh, future entrepreneurs that you're gonna invest or gonna support? What kind of qualification that make you feel this is the one? So the first thing we do is we we look at the plan、mm -hmm. and we decide whether the market's big enough, is、mm -hmm. the technology unique enough. Does the team seem to make sense?、Mm -hmm. And then when we meet the entrepreneur, what we do is we just look for passion. Yes. We look for are they really going to make something happen? And that、mm -hmm. doesn't mean to come in and say,、mm -hmm. "I'm really passionate about this."、Mm -hmm. That means to come in and say, "The world has to see this. <laughs> It has to." They, my old company didn't understand. I tried and tried and tried, and so I just had to start this company. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Where it's just they they did it out of frustration or、mm -hmm. or passion or love or whatever it was, and that that's what made them successful. Yes, but on the way to achieve this, I believe there's many like a lot of like common mistakes. So, what kind of mistakes you try to suggest them to avoid?、Um, one of the biggest mistakes an entrepreneur makes is that they hire too many people right at the beginning. Yeah, the best entrepreneurs work on their own、mm -hmm. for about a year、mm -hmm. to get so that they really understand their business and their customer and the product, and then they say, "Oh boy, I really have to have this person." Mm -hmm. And then they'll go out and recruit that person.、Mm -hmm. There's no reason to take on overhead or responsibility for people's families or any of that if you are、um, not quite sure what the market is going to do. Yes.、Uh, and so that's the biggest problem an entrepreneur usually goes after.、Yes. After is how they hire.、Um, Some of the others are、uh, make sure you raise more money than you think you need,、mm -hmm. and don't spend it.、Mm -hmm. Just be tight as can be until、mm -hmm. you have that perfect situation where, for every Remen B you put in, you get five back.、Mm -hmm. If as soon as that happens, then pour the money in, raise tons of money, and go grow fast.、Mm -hmm. But until you have that product market fit, don't jump in.、Mm -hmm. But you're such a well-known and successful venture capitalist. Why you make this transition to go to the education area, which is totally new, you know? Well, what's good about that is it's really good for my business because they go out to wherever,、mm -hmm. anywhere around the world. We've had 700 students, and they've come from 70 different countries,、um, and then they start businesses. Two hundred and fifty companies have been started out of Draper University students,、mm -hmm. and not only that, but then they know people who start businesses and they send those to us.、Mm -hmm. So I end up with extraordinary deal flow from the school,、mm -hmm. and that helps. I, that helps、yeah. my venture business,、yeah. and so、uh, they they work together.、Mm -hmm. so、you have your school in Silicon Valley, and everyone go to Silicon Valley because this is kind of the engine of the in innovation. So, what do you see the next five or ten years? What's the rising industry? What's gonna be like the future? <clears throat> what do you see?、Uh, now we have AI. We, we're gonna have self-driving cars.、Mm -hmm. We're gonna have flying cars. We're gonna have uh, uh, cures for almost anything that ails you.、Mm -hmm. uh, so, healthcare is gonna change completely.、Mm -hmm. uh, I think governments are going to change too. I think governments are going to get better at taking care of their people because、uh, there are some great technologies out there that will improve, that can help governments do a better job,、mm -hmm. be fairer and more transparent,、mm -hmm. um, and and people can move from one country to another, and so、uh, governments have to sort of、uh, compete. 
-hmm. for all those people. Yeah. So I think governments are going to change. That, that may be the biggest change that I think happens over the next 15 or 20 years. Okay. The Premier Minister says it's like a mass entrepreneurship. Everyone should go and have some stops. <coughs> what do you see this trend in China that everyone want to have their own stops? I think stops? the Prime Minister is absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Everyone, mm -hmm. when they get out of college or wherever, whenever they become an adult, mm -hmm. they should think, where should I go? How should I create my own job? Mm -hmm. And not rely on some big company to hire them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's always nice too, but, uh, but everyone should have it in their hearts that they, sh that they need to go create their own job. Mm -hmm. uh, because no one's going to create it for you. And even if you join another company, the idea of going in to, to m create your own job is, a good, is good thinking. Mm -hmm. So even if you're inside a company, you can be an intrapreneur. Yes, yes. And if you're outside a company, you can be an entrepreneur. And mm -hmm. I think you're, I think he's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. uh, people should be entrepreneurial. So thank you so much. <laughs> I think I just, uh, Very nice to see you. Okay. I um, hope you do apply. Okay, next yeah. batch. You're next me. batch, you yeah. let me know. Yeah, yeah. yeah so you. I can flag your application. Yeah. Hopefully you'll come.